Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super easy peasy, fast um, tutorial on how you make these smaller scale gift bags. Um, sizing roughly between, I don't know, six to nine or, you know, six by nine, depending on um, where you score. Um, but yeah, if you need a last minute, quick and easy gift bag, you have no time to run to the store, you wanna throw stuff in, this is the tutorial for you. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So you're going to start off with two 12 by 12 papers. Um, if you have double sided, great. If not, that's fine, too. So with my paper, because it's not like a single print, it's like clearly there's an orientation to it. So at the top, I scored at one inch. Now, just remember, this is like the top border. If you want a thicker, you could go two, three inches. But just remember, your bag size is going to change. Um, so that's the top. And then for the other three sides, I'm scoring at two and a half inches. And I just found after making so many of these bags, this was a size I liked. And I think, not 100% sure, but I think the bag measured around seven by nine. Um, but it was just perfect for what I needed it for. I, like, it was really like um, a card I, and, I don't know, like a chocolate bar or something. Because I was going to like a work event and then I ended up needing like six bags. Um, and I was like, I'm not going to the store. I'm going to make them myself. <laughs> so, yeah. So once I did that to the first page, this is the second um, 12 by 12 that I'm doing the exact same thing to. So the top, you're going to score at one inch. And then the sides... The three other sides at two and a half if yeah like i said if you want a thick like a oh, thicker width to fit kind of more stuff you could definitely score at three inches but yes just know the bag will be um shorter in height my son was standing right by me so i was kind of like fumbling a bit but yeah and I think that's all the scoring you need. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the scoring you need. Quick and easy. Like if you guys have ever made a paper box, very similar idea. All right, guys. So um, with the top, and I did it one inch, so that was like easier for me to remember. Pull out a decorative punch if you have, or if you have like um, those decorative edge scissors, or if you don't have any of them, just leave it straight. That's totally fine too. And maybe later if you wanted to, you could decorate the edge with um, ribbon or trim of some sort. Yeah, so here I am, just the one, the top. That's all I'm doing it to. I'm just um, punching this decorative, you know, scallop style throughout the top. And yeah, I'll fast forward and come back once this is all done here. All right, once um, you know you finish with the decorative edge, if not, whatever, just fold that top over so it's facing the print that, you know, that outside of the bag. And then with the second sheet, you're gonna do the exact same with that one inch on top. I'm gonna run that decorative punch right over it again. All right, once the two pages, like the top has been, you know, fancy done up, I'm just going to fold it down on the score line towards the print again, the outside of the bag. And now I'm just kind of working on um, putting the box together. So cutting the slits and preparing. So for one sheet, you're going to cut out as you were like going to make a box, um, the full like both the squares on each end. You'll see here. So I'm just cutting that out. Both sides. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, so you know, there is very little waste to this bag. And I'm going to turn one of those squares into a tag. So you'll see at the end there. So yeah, that's one, the one sheet. And then the second sheet, you are not going to cut out the full square. You're going to do slits on the side, just one 
side and you guys will see there the top of the bag and I'm just cutting one slit and you'll see and then now I'm kind of folding down a bit on the square line score lines but then I realized like um yeah those I was just sharing with you guys like keep the squares don't throw them out um I'm sharing with you guys I was gonna like fold down but then I'm like it's probably gonna be easier for the sake of the video if you can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna glue that one page that I cut out the both the corner squares on and that middle section I'm gonna apply glue all over that one flap that's left and I'm gonna adhere it to the other sheet now, if you're doing, you know, if your paper's double-sided, it's it's not going to be as bad. It's just because my, my paper is, like, a certain orientation, so I got to just keep track of, like, what, you know, what I'm cutting and gluing. But, yeah, so you glue it down to the other page. Try to center it, and that's it. Like, I know some people will use um, glue tape or, the you know, the glue runner, but then I found with this project, it's so much more forgiving if I use wet glue because sometimes like I glue things down and I'm like, okay, no, it's not straight, but it's totally up to you. It's probably going to be easier if you use, you know, paper tape or whatever, but um, it's, it's really the adhesive, it's preference. And now, okay, now that I'm done um, gluing the two sheets together, now I'm creasing down the score lines. And you guys can see on the top there, sorry, my son's just back here. Um, you can see on the top there, it was that folded over border. It is really cute. I like that thinner border, but like I said, if you want a thicker border, then score it like two inches, one and a half. You know, really your preference. And here I'm putting the bag together and I'm just kind of seeing like what side I like better um, to show versus what side I'm going to glue down, as you can see. So here's just the little square to hold it in. So I think I like to this side with the tree. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Like I said, if you're doing a plaid print, it really is not gonna matter. You're not gonna notice it. And I was like, oh, what tree do you like better? I like that one. <laughs> so um, I decided to put glue, but yeah, it's very, very easy as you can see. Like once you have the score lines all folded in, you can kind of see how the bag comes together this really this bag took me like no time at all if my son kind of wasn't hanging around i'd even be faster it's just i was trying to entertain him i was talking to my husband at the same time i'm like here oh i need more glue just to hear everything down i love this tacky glue it's like inexpensive and it works so well and that's it that's that's one side and then with my bone folder i just smooth everything down this paper i noticed after was pretty plain um so you could totally stamp on the outside i don't know add a doily but really i don't give a hoot <laughs> like i'm sorry when it's a last minute gift you just you know it's cute enough you know and especially going to someone who's not a crafter, they're, they're not going to, you know, I don't think they're going to care too much. But I, I think these bags are super cute. And here I'm just struggling a bit. Uh, I'm just trying to like glue it down. And this is where like tape glue would be so much more um, easier if you, you know, you apply it prior to Having had glued down the other side, then you're just ripping it off um, or just adhering it together. But I, I don't know. I kind of wanted to get this tutorial out to you guys in case anyone out there like wants to save a couple bucks, make their own bags, use their stash. Like I went through so much paper. I probably use like, I made 15 bags. So I use like 13, sorry. Uh, I made 15 bags. So I used 30 sheets of 12 by 12. And I did that in like an evening, like maybe couple hours i was like hanging out my kids were asleep um but yeah this was like a following day where i was like oh i'm just gonna make a tutorial and 
Yeah, it, the, these kind of bags are great if you've got a group of kids, colleagues at work, and you've got like, you know, 10 to 15 of them, and you just do something small, like a little hot chocolate mix, a card in there. It's perfect, and it's so decorative, and it looks so cute. Um, and here I'm just, yeah, adhering any of the little, anything sticking out, hanging out that looks weird, I'm just adhering it down. So easy peasy, you guys. And I just love how little waste there is to this like project. Cause I'm not I'm trying to use up my scraps. I'm not trying to create scraps. Just smoothing everything out. And there you have it, you guys. Pretty much the bag box is done. And then um yeah, like I'm just trying to get everything smooth and then I'm going to pierce some holes in them and then add, you know, my ribbon. So with the ribbon, pretty much. Um, oh, what am I doing now? I, don't, I can't even remember. I like the scallops because I what I'm doing is I'm counting in. I counted like six in and then I punched. And I do like the scallop for that. And instead of like pulling out a ruler and marking, I was like, no, these scallops are great. And that way, I'm um, for the most part, I'm pretty even on both sides. Again, six in. Some of my smaller bags, I went four in, like, but that's what I do, like, the little scalps for was um, to count where my hole punch is. And you see, I'm using, like, a dollar store hole punch. Like, I, I wasn't going to put grommets in them or, you know, do any of that. I just easy peasy. That is the purpose of this tutorial i just did not care oh and for the ribbon you pretty much double the um width of it you see what i did there i'll measure another one for the other side just double it up just like that i love this i think it's like that twill ribbon but i kind of just pulled out whatever i had it's a an a great project to use up trims that have been sitting there or whatever and here this is one of the scraps um that came out from one of the square corners there and i'm just trimming it down because of course you saw i freehand cut it i love these fist screw trimmers but dang like these my blades always fall out anyone who has these trimmers is this happening to you guys too i don't know maybe it's just me um if i was in my craft room i would have used my little corner rounder and just cleaned it up a bit but for the sake of tutorial of the tutorial i just was like no nope, that's all pierced a little hole in it and then um just feeding the ribbon through doing a double knot and i'm just gonna like speed through this here yeah sorry guys i'm just speeding through myself tying these double-sided knots it was like painful <laughs> watching me do it in like regular time so i adhered the tag pulled it through double knot easy peasy like i said and there you guys have it look at that bag that bag box like how could you not like i never want to pay for a bag anymore because you can do this for any pattern paper that you have this is great and if you want to make it really sturdy um on the inside just add like a piece of cardstock 